Okay, so I'm going, I'm on book 20, Dingoes at Dinner Time. And this is for my fifth grade group. Um, there's two of you, Jesus and Willow. Um, last time you guys were supposed to do some research on what a dingo was. A dingo, I believe, is a kangaroo that is found in Australia. So we are probably going to Australia. Let's see if we can find out. So dingoes at dinner time. And we're not going to read the prologue because we've been doing these back to back, right? Remember what's going on. So we're going to start with chapter one, the last gift. Annie sat on the porch steps. She stared down the street at the Frog Creek Woods. Hey, Jack, she said, do you hear it? Jack sat next to her. He was reading a book. Hear what, he said. Teddy's calling, said Annie. Remember, Teddy's the dog that's been hanging out with him. You're kidding, said Jack, but he looked down the street and listened too. A faint bark came from the distance. Arf, arf! A big smile crossed Jack's face. You hear it, Annie said. Yep, said Jack. You're right. Time to go. He stood up and grabbed his backpack. Be back soon, Annie shouted through the screen door. Don't be late for dinner, their dad called. We won't, said Jack. He and Annie ran down the street and into the Frog Creek Woods. Soon they came to the tallest oak. There was a magic tree house. A little black nose stuck out the window. Hi, silly, Annie called. We're coming. Arf! came a happy bark. Annie grabbed the rope ladder and started climbing. Jack followed her into the tree house. A small dog sat in a circle of afternoon sunshine. His tail wagged. Hey, Teddy, said Jack. Jack and Annie hugged Teddy, and the dog licked both of them. Morgan's note is still here, said Annie. Yep, said Jack. He knew the note by heart now. This little dog is under a spell and needs your help. To free him, you must be given four special things. A gift from a ship lost at sea, a gift from the prairie blue, a gift from a forest, forest far away, a gift from a kangaroo. Be wise, be brave, be careful. Morgan. Beside the note were the gifts from their first three trips. One, a pocket watch from the Titanic. Two, an eagle's feather from the prairie skies. Three, a lotus flower from a forest in India. We just need to get a gift from a kangaroo, said Annie, and Teddy will be free from his spell. We must be going to Australia, said Jack. That's where kangaroos live. Cool, said Annie. Teddy whined and scratched at a book lying in the corner. Jack picked it up. What did I tell you, he said. He showed the cover to Annie. The title was Adventure in Australia. Great, said Annie. She looked at Teddy. Ready to meet a kangaroo? Arf, arf. Jack opened the book. He found a page with a small pictures of different animals and a big picture of a forest. Jack pointed at the forest. I wish we could go there, he said. The wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still. Absolutely still. All right, we'll see you guys later for chapter two.